Okay, so assignment one for week seven, this is eighth grade math and it's simple interest. And you're given the formula up at the very top, I equals PRT. <clears throat> and on simple, that's all you're doing here. We're just figuring out the interest. And when you have that PRT, um, when the letters are right next to each other, it means you're gonna multiply each number. Um, and these on the front page don't seem to be word problems, so they're literally just giving you the information and you have to plug it into the formula. So the money is your principal, the P. <clears throat> the rate, the R, is that 4%, but you have to turn that into a decimal. So take the four and divide it by 100, or you can move what would be a decimal point here at the end of four, oh, behind it, so sorry, and move it two spaces to the left. So either way you do it, if you divide four by 100 or move your decimal point, you're gonna get 0 0.04, and that's what you need to use for R. And then time in years <clears throat> is your T. So in your calculator, on your phone, however you're doing this, 25,700 times 0 0.04 times three. You're just multiplying all three of those together and you should get your answer from there. So 25,700 times 0 0.04 times three is 3,084. And that is an answer choice. Same thing on number two. I've got the P, this is the R, but I have to do something. I have to take that decimal and move it one two spaces to the left, so it's really 0 0.085, and then that's the time. So P times R times T. Remember that <clears throat> percent, even if there's already a decimal, if it has the percent sign behind it, it's not in decimal form yet. So move it two spaces to the left, put 8.5 divided by 100 either way. Same thing on number three with that rate. I'm just gonna show you guys two spaces to the left. P, R, T. Mostly just gonna look at the rates because this is kind of where people get confused. So 0 0.02, same thing on 6% and you can always divide it by 100. So 0 0.06, <clears throat> 7.75 divided by 100 or move your decimal two spaces to the left, so 0 0.0775. Okay, same thing, 4.8% needs to actually be 0 0.048. <clears throat> and the 2.6, you can put that in the calculator just like it is. That's your time, that's okay. Same thing, move that decimal, one, two. 0 0.086. That's a six. Okay. Yikes. And number nine, same thing on the right. One, two. You're just moving the decimal. And if that confuses you, 10.5 divided by 100. That's a possibility. So 0 0.105. And for three and one fourth years, if you guys are on your calculators, um, or your phone calculators, I mean, and you are struggling with the fractions. Some of you know that one fourth is 0.25. Um, so I would just type in 3.25. If not, just divide one by four, and that'll give you your decimal. <clears throat> and that's kind of hard to see, but that's your P, this is your rate, and that's your time. Number 10, the same thing, decimal on the rate, move it one, two. And your fraction, your mixed fraction here, turn it into a decimal. Three fourths, or three divided by four, is 0.75. Um, so your time is actually 2.75. Number 11, the rate. That's all I'm going to kind of focus on for the rest of this page. That's what people kind of get tripped up on. And if you got it from here, then you do not have to watch the rest of me talking about this and just wait for me to talk about assignment two. One, two. Da, 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 same thing. Decimal here, one, two, 0 0.055, one, two, 
point zero two seven five and your time. Okay, this is assignment two for week seven, eighth grade. This one's a little more complicated. It's a lot more complicated, but the answer choices are just wanting you to fill it in correctly. So it doesn't look like you're actually solving any of these because that would be really hard if you don't have a graphing calculator because you need to use a lot of different buttons and parentheses. But the main things you need to remember, um, this is your piece. So you're, you're figuring out which one looks correct, which one is plugged in correctly to that formula. So you've got your P, that's always your money, whatever's invested or saved, put back, or a loan. Um, and then your percent, your rate, don't forget, if it has the percent, it's not in decimal form yet. So divide seven by 100 or do the one, two, point zero seven. Move your decimal two spaces to the left and your time, three years. Okay, so if I was using this formula, A, which means total, Compound interest, principal, the number one, that's just part of the formula. That's not something that has anything to do with the numbers they give you. That's just part of the formula. You're going to use that every single time. So if I were to plug in what I have, what they gave me, my principal is the money. The one is there always. Plus the rate. So... It's not seven because I had to turn it into a decimal. It's going to be 0 0.07. And then the little exponent of time would be three. So 0 0.07. B is wrong because they put 0.7, which is what a lot of people are going to do because they're going to forget. And then the only difference between A and B is the three. On A, they give you a big three. Like they were just putting a big three out to the side, like times three. Um, but what that little exponent is, is actually to the third power. So that means C would have to be correct. So the main things you need to look for are that, to make sure that that's in exponent form, the little, the little number up at the top, and that your rate is done correctly. So two spaces to the left, or divide the rate by 100. Same thing, principal, rate, time, move your decimal, one, two spaces to the left. So this would actually be 0 0.045. Okay, so those are the main things you need to look for. Everything else kind of looks the same. Use that same formula, the whole paper. Number three, 9.25, 1, 2, 0.925. And 3.8, 1, 2. 0 0.038, 8 8.2%, 1, 2, 0 0.082%, 14, so they didn't give us a decimal in this percent, so I'm going to put it at the very end of the number, because it's a whole number, 1, 2 to the left, so this one's 0.14. Okay, I think you pretty much get the gist, I don't know if there's any that are just super complicated from here. They're all pretty much the same. Look out for your rate, look out for the exponent. And that seems to be about it. If you guys have any questions, you can always email me. And um, yep, that's it. Email me or um, call or text on my Google Voice number that's posted in Google Classroom.